Hey guys, ah, classic California shot. I love that. The sky is beautiful this morning. Let's see if you can see some of it behind me. Look, uh, it won't really come into focus here. Let me tap. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay, limiting beliefs. This is what I hear from you guys all the time. It's like, Kristen, how do I get past my limiting beliefs? I'm getting completely overwhelmed. I feel like I can't do it. All right, first of all, you are not alone. <laughs> Second of all, I'm gonna share the trick to limiting beliefs with you right here in this video today. Because the truth is, limiting beliefs, beliefs are just thoughts that seem real. That does not mean they are real. You have just thought them for a long period of time. The trick to them is not trying to get rid of them. It's transforming them. Belief transformation is the thing. And how you do it is by taking really small steps to slowly shift how you think about something. Now, some people at this point go, oh God, Kristen, that's gonna, that's gonna take me forever to transform my limiting beliefs. I promise you it won't. You will be absolutely stunned at how quickly it works. I am going to be uh, doing a free training, totally free, that you can get in on where I show you the five-step formula that I've used for years. It's simple because here's the secret. This stuff doesn't have to be difficult. There are so many people overcomplicating this stuff. It's killing me. So keeping it really simple, showing you how to transform your limiting beliefs in five simple steps. I'm gonna walk you through all of it, like it's a complete full training, as well as showing you how to get out of overwhelm, get into momentum, because like I said, limiting beliefs, overwhelm, they're very often connected. Okay, so you wanna get on that training? GoBigCoach.com forward slash training. Nice and simple, www.gobigcoach.com forward slash training. And I will definitely see you there. Okay, so back to limiting beliefs. Let's look at it, let's break it down. Okay, Friday the 13th. That's, you know, it's an unlucky day, it's a terrible day. That's a belief, right? That is simply a belief. People get crazy about 13s, like hotels don't have 13th floors and all of that. That is simply a belief. It is a belief. It's something that somehow seems real. Does it make it real? No, it seems real. So if you've got limiting beliefs, which of course you do, you're human. Congratulations, you're human. We all have them. The first thing you wanna start with is realizing, okay, this isn't necessarily real. It just seems real. Got it? That's the first thing. You kind of free yourself right there in that moment. The next thing is, that here's, here's the thing about, let's talk about Friday the 13th a little bit more. So many people, oh, it's an unlucky day. Oh, that's, things are gonna be rough today. I have friends, two of them, who actually love Friday the 13th. They have the belief that Friday the 13th is a fun day, is a day that is full of luck and fun stuff and opportunity and all of that. So therefore, that's the experience that they end up having. Pretty cool. What's the difference? What's the difference between the people that think terrible stuff is gonna happen and between people that think, hey, this is awesome? First thing, it's a choice. It literally is a choice. But my friends who have decided that, they just decided to think differently than what everybody else is thinking. They decided they want to determine what Friday the 13th is to them. You can do this with anything. Okay. What's the second thing? You start looking for proof of good, right? Proof of support of your new belief, not the limiting belief, but the new belief. So if you want to believe that there is abundance everywhere, start looking for abundance everywhere, not just in your life, but anywhere. If you see abundance with someone else, you celebrate it. You're like, yay, that's for me. See, we're told the opposite thing. We're told, oh, hate it if it's somewhere else. Well, then we're just giving that message to the universe. So celebrate it. If you see it anywhere, it means it is there for you. It is a demonstration of the thing that you desire being in the world, so celebrate it. Okay, so those are two quick things that you can uh, start to utilize right now um, about limiting beliefs. It's funny, I was at an audition yesterday um, at Paramount Studios and limiting beliefs, you wanna talk about when you really see them come out and when you feel them come out in yourself is at an audition and you can just see people like in this place of, uh, is that person better than I am? Are they gonna, they're never gonna want me? Like you can 
can see it all happening on them. I, like I said, I felt it happening with me too. So it, what it comes down to is a choice. So yesterday in the audition, I started to feel like, oh, you know, a little nervous. I'd been waiting for a long time. So nerves start to kick in. Exactly that. I remembered exactly what I just shared with you today, which is it's a choice. First thing is a choice. Okay, so I'm here for a reason because they wanted me to be here. I went over, I looked at the thing, and I was like, okay, here's proof that they wanted me to be here. There's only 11 of us in for this role. Okay, I mean, that's, those are pretty small numbers. That's enough proof for me to go, okay, I'm supposed to be here. Right. So when you reset that, you know, when you, when you actually stop the limiting belief in its tracks and you go, hold on, I'm making a different choice, that changes everything. So that's just another little tip. Anyway, we'll get into all of it even more in that free training I told you about, www.gobigcoach.com forward slash training. You are going to love the training if you're dealing with limiting beliefs, if that's something that you struggle with. This is the perfect thing for you. If you feel like you're stuck in overwhelm, if you feel like you're always procrastinating, any of that stuff, those are just clever ways that we sabotage ourselves to defend our limiting beliefs, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to deal with all of that in five very simple steps. I have used this for years. It works brilliantly for me. Obviously, I can't promise that it'll work brilliantly for you because I don't know your situation. I don't know if you will use it. Um, that's typically the issue. But come to the training, show up ready to take notes, show up ready to implement what I share with you. Like I said, I keep it simple on purpose and um, you're gonna notice a huge difference if you do all of that I really feel like there's huge potential for you to shift things change those limiting beliefs not change them transform them um, and really start living a life that is full of momentum and joy all right that is it for now I will see you soon happy Friday the 13th and uh, I'll talk to you later go big <laughs>